Okay, so the next attack that we have, some people, they, they're not gonna necessarily press on your, 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 your chest like that. Uh, maybe they're just a little bit more cautious. Maybe you feel like, you know, they're, they've reached their hand there, but they're not really in any danger. So what we're gonna do is go to like a, a variation on a straight armbar. Call this the scorpion armbar. I learned it from my instructor, Bradley Ostina, probably when I first started training with him. Okay, and it's a great attack and it leads on to a lot of other things. So this is pretty common, particularly if I'm like kind of waiting here in this position and Dean recognizes the danger. If he brings his hand, I might have already tried it. He's not gonna wanna keep bringing that in front. So what I need to figure out to do is how to start attacking this arm. Of course, there's like obvious stuff like trying to pin this down and hook it over the top. I find that very, very difficult and I feel like I don't have a lot of control when I do that, okay? Like it's like really this is like me against Dean. I'm a little bit lighter than Dean. I'm having to lean back to get this so when Dean goes here, he can start pushing and like creating space and, and doing that kind of stuff. I don't wanna do that, okay? I don't wanna give up as little control as possible. So I start my position. What my goal is, I'm gonna try and step this leg over Dean's head, okay? But I have to do that without losing the control of Dean's elbow, okay? I can use this hand to help me, providing, okay, I can keep his elbow trapped, like using my leg. So if Dean tries to pull his elbow down now, it's hard, there's a lot of friction between the two of us. So I'm here, I can kind of make this grip, I get up relatively high up on top of him, I use my leg to block, now I can start pushing his head, and I'm gonna step this leg over the top here. Okay, so we've formed this kind of straight armbar position. Okay, this is important, I'm trying to drag his head back towards his arm. Okay, now, to finish, I keep control, I lean this direction, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw my elbow back and my leg back at the same time. So I'm gonna let Dean's arm go, so you can see, I'm gonna do this. Okay. There's a huge range of movement, which means that the break is gonna be powerful when it happens. So I'm isolating, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, starting to get this leg around. Oh, I can make my grip here. Now watch, my weight leans forwards. Okay, so I've got the space to be able to go, and then I start bringing my shoulder back this way, okay? And again, I've not given up any control by doing this, okay? Dean, the whole time, is stuck underneath my body weight, okay? So, we're here, keeping everything nice and tight. Watch out, can we spin this way a little bit for me, Dean? Thank you very much. Okay, I'm here, like so. I go underneath his elbow. If, you bend, if we bend Dean's arm, you'll be able to see the point of his elbow higher than my thigh. I need to make sure that's on my hip. If it's not on my hip, it's not gonna work. Okay, so I'm here, I keep this all trapped. I can use my hand to push, leg comes over to here. Okay, now I can even put my head towards the floor for a little bit of extra balance and then I'm gonna arch my hip and my back through into this position. Okay, so Dean's head's being pulled so his posture's broken and I'm arching in and we get a really, really tight armbar from there. Okay, and as I said, we're not giving up any position, we're not making any dramatic, like, dramatic movements and if I start to come here and I'm stepping over, Dean now pushes on my knee, I spin this way. Dean now pushes on my knee, hop. We can go back to our first attack and start finishing from there. Okay, so that is our, our scorpion armbar. Positionally, it should feel very, very heavy on top. Mechanically, it's very, very efficient, and I'm not giving any space for Dean to escape. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed the content. If you'd like to hear more from me, then the easiest thing to do is download my free ebook, which is called Performance Drilling. It covers how I went from not winning a major competition to a three-time world champion um, and a ton of other information as well. I regularly send out more emails, videos, uh, useful tips, tricks, all kinds of different stuff that will help improve your grappling. The way you can access it is go to escapologybjj.com forward slash performance drilling. I hope to see you on the other side.